You've probably heard about the Cali Girl line of Barbie dolls, but have you heard about the relationship drama Mattel concocted to promote the line? Cali Girl, which was released in January 2004, centered around Barbie and her friends as they spent the summer on the beaches of California. First wave dolls included Barbie, Leah, Teresa, Christy, Ken, and Steven. And while promo images showed Barbie and Ken enjoying each other's company, Mattel had other plans in mind. They were historically unhappy with the Ken doll's sales, and previously tried to rebrand the doll in the early 90s with mixed results. Lisa McKendall, a former marketing and communications manager at Mattel, explained that in the early 1990s the company surveyed little girls to determine whether Ken should still be Barbie's boyfriend. Most of the girls responded that they wanted Barbie to stay with Ken, but they wanted Ken to look cooler. This survey led to the release of the infamous earring Magic Ken doll in 1993, known for its gay raver look. However, Mattel was now concerned with the Barbie doll's sales slump, especially as MGA Entertainment's Bratz dolls were gaining a larger market share. With lines like Cali Girl and Fashion Fever, Mattel evidently wanted to change the status quo of the Barbie brand to keep up with the industry. They wanted the world of Barbie to be youthful and trendy, and sadly Ken, with his look still deeply rooted in the 1990s, did not fit in with this image. Mattel likely saw how invested the public was with California-based teen dramas, such as The O.C., and the various celebrity breakups of the time. Given how Barbie and Ken were global icons by this point, Mattel was confident that some relationship drama between the two could attract interest back to the brand. As, uh, as some of you may know from various encounters I've had with the media over many years, I, I never ever comment on my clients' personal lives. Ever. I I'll violate that slightly today. Because I will confirm that Ken and Barbie are going to go their separate ways. On Valentine's Day 2004, Mattel announced that Barbie and Ken had decided to take some time apart, marking the end of their 43-year-long relationship. To increase the magnitude of the breakup, Mattel hired celebrity publicist Ken Sunshine, who represented celebrities such as Ben Affleck, to share the news with the public. Sunshine would state on behalf of Barbie that, I never comment on my clients' personal lives, but I will tell you that Barbie and Ken will always remain the best of friends. She looks forward to spending more time at her Malibu beach house with close friends and family, and concentrating on her budding film career. So at this time, we ask that you respect her privacy. Ken would provide a statement through Russell Ahrens, his manager at Mattel. Barbie and I have decided to spend some time apart. People often joke about my role as Mr. Barbie, but I wish her all the best in her new endeavors. She's got a great new look and so many opportunities on the horizon and I am confident that we'll continue to keep a long-lasting friendship. Although Ken and Barbie had broken up, Ken would stick around for a bit with the Cali Girl line, as part of a larger campaign by Mattel. In June 2004, a second wave of Cali Girl dolls was released which featured two new characters, siblings Blaine and Summer. In marketing materials, it was said that Blaine and Summer recently moved to California from Australia. Blaine was described as the hot new guy in town, who loves pizza and extreme sports. To tie in with the introduction of Blaine, Mattel decided to hold a poll on the official Barbie website to determine Barbie's future relationship. While there was an option in the poll for Barbie to remain single, it was clear that Mattel wanted her to have a boyfriend. The poll listed four potential suitors, new guy Blaine, ex-boyfriend Ken, longtime friend Steven, and mystery guy Diego. Descriptions and pictures of each suitor were featured in the weekly Cali zine on the Barbie website. Ken was described as sweet and fun, with a love of surfing, Blaine as so totally cute and great at sports, Steven as a super easygoing guy who is into nature, and Diego as a terrific swimmer who digs new adventures. Unlike Ken, Steven, and Blaine, Diego was yet to be produced but his prototype doll would be featured in the Cali Girl zine. Sadly, many features of the Cali Girl Barbie site have not been archived, but thankfully, the blog Keeping Ken, aka Man Behind the Doll, 
captured an image from the zine that introduced Diego and Steven. In this issue, Diego is seen walking and sipping smoothies with Barbie and Christy. He is wearing a shirt from a first wave Cali girl fashion pack, and has the 2001 smiling Alan head sculpt, which was notably used in the Happy Family line. While there was a lot of planning and fanfare that went into Blaine's introduction, it seemed as though Mattel was either gauging consumer interest for Diego with the pole or just using him as a throwaway character to advance the plot. They would even trademark the Diego name, but did not register it with the US government yet. Perhaps if Mattel was even considering the results of the poll, Diego's design would be refined for production and his name would be registered. Or with their reluctance towards producing more male characters, either due to low sales or consumer feedback, Mattel likely didn't want to risk producing another Cali guy for the line. After all, Mattel would cancel the release of the 1999 Totally Yo-Yo Zack doll, even though there were promotional images of the doll with Totally Yo-Yo Skipper and friends. Ken himself would be phased out of the Cali girl line once the votes came in and Blaine was ultimately chosen as Barbie's new boyfriend. It would take over a decade to introduce more diverse male characters into the Barbie brand, through the Fashionistas line, but in the meantime, Mattel carried out an elaborate campaign to bring Ken and Barbie back together. In 2005, Mattel stated that Ken would be coming back to the Barbie line in spring 2006 with a brand new look. Mattel spokesperson Lauren Bruksha said that, a makeover for Ken was inevitable. As a tie-in, Mattel released a makeover game on the Barbie website where fans could restyle Ken to their liking. Fans could also choose the new Ken doll's personality traits and career aspirations, among other things. On February 9, 2006, two years after the breakup, Ken came back to the forefront with his new makeover to woo Barbie. Mattel tasked celebrity stylist Philip Block to redesign Ken from head to toe based on current trends. It's Matthew McConaughey meets Orlando Bloom, said Block in an interview. Ken was also given a brand new head sculpt with a closed mouth and defined jawline. Although Ken had made a comeback and Blaine was being phased out of the Barbie playline, Mattel would not comment about Barbie and Ken's relationship status. Ken needed to do more to win Barbie back. As part of the Ken doll's 50th anniversary campaign in 2011, Mattel decided that Ken would finally win Barbie over. Through Twitter, Facebook, the Barbie website, and billboards, Ken made it clear that he wanted Barbie back. Mattel also used this opportunity to give Ken a new head sculpt and articulated body. While some would think that the social media and billboard campaigns seemed odd, the strangest move Mattel made in this campaign was a reality show on Hulu called, Genuine Ken, The Search for the Great American Boyfriend. The show, which has been compared to The Bachelor, featured eight contestants who competed against each other to prove that they were the greatest American boyfriend. Mattel hoped that with the growing interest in reality TV that the show would help get the Barbie brand some mainstream attention, and in turn, increase toy sales. The campaign culminated in an announcement on Valentine's Day 2011 that Barbie and Ken were back together after seven years. Additionally, a gift set with Barbie and Ken called, She Said Yes, was released, where the two were dressed in modern interpretations of their iconic vintage swimsuits, standing hand in hand. The Ken doll in the set had a kiss mark on his cheek, presumably from Barbie. Ken was finally reunited with Barbie, and the two are still together, as of the release date of this video. While it was unfortunate that Diego was not part of the Cali girl line, or any other Barbie line for that matter, it wasn't the first time Mattel scrapped a doll that was featured in promotional materials, be it Francie's friend Becky, though she would get a special collector's release in 2009, or the really rad Barbie line. Collectors would even go to the extent of creating their own Diego doll based on the prototype. Although Diego played a very brief role in the Cali Girl storyline, he signified the potential for more diverse male characters within the world of Barbie. Sure, Mattel would occasionally release new male dolls in Playline, 
but they were few and far between. In 2017, Mattel would finally satisfy collectors who had been waiting for the Ken brand to have more diversity, through the Fashionistas line. Not only did the male Fashionistas dolls come in different skin tones, but much like their female counterparts, they also had different body types. With their historic reluctance towards producing male fashion dolls, like Cali Guy Diego, the male Fashionistas dolls were certainly a step forward for Mattel. Now the question is, will Mattel continue this momentum? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.